Hello, it's Barry at gotaukulele.com with another instrument review. Um, I do get people saying to me that I don't review enough entry-level uh, ukuleles. Have a look on the reviews page of the website, you'll see that that's not actually true. Um, so here we are with another entry-level ukulele anyway. Uh, this is a ukulele that is made by the Vintage brand, meaning it's not vintage, it's new. Uh, it's the VUK20, um, available for about 20 quid. So bargain basement. Um, let's take a look at what I think of this one. It's a fairly standard soprano shaped instrument. Um, and the product description, if you compare this, to, depending on which store you look at, you'll see a variety of product descriptions for this one. On Amazon, this is billed as the tan ukulele outfit. Um, they claim it's made of all mahogany. No, it's not. Um, Vintage's own website themselves say that this is made from sapili ply, and it is indeed plywood. It's sapili wood ply. Uh, so it's a plywood box. It is not mahogany. Mahogany doesn't look like that. It's a fairly standard double bout shape covered in a very uninspiring sort of satin spray painted brown that kind of kills off any sense of wood grain. Not that you'd get a lot of wood grain on cheap plywood, but there we are. Um, hmm, okay, we've got no decoration whatsoever. The finish isn't actually too bad, but there are a few little scratches. I know that you can see them that it arrived with. We've got some chips uh, down the base as well here. So pretty rough and ready, really. Uh, the only decoration is that sound hole which is screen printed on and is not actually put on centrally. That would annoy me. Um, vintage say that that bridge, which is a slotted bridge, is made of rosewood. I'm not entirely sure it is. It looks like rosewood, but these cheap strings are starting to gouge into the wood. It's actually quite soft. Um, not rosewood or cheap rosewood. Um, plastic saddle with a very, very high action down at the lower frets um, and there we are looking inside it's pretty messy uh, pretty plain I guess but I don't know whether I'm going to be able to show you that but the wood is starting to split on the inner kerfing as you can see <sighs> hmm, yes cheap and cheerful the neck is uh, base wood I think linden wood uh, in three pieces with a joint here and here again spray, spray painted in that satin brown uh, my first major problem with it Amazon claim this is a rosewood fretboard. No, it's not. It's um, I think it's soft mahogany laminate, and it's unfinished. It's kind of bare wood, and it is really soft. I mean, if I sort of press it with my fingernail, I leave a gouge in it. Um, that's not what you want from a fingerboard. Fingerboards are usually made by using woods like ebony or rosewood for a reason because it's hard and this there's going to be a lot of um, activity going on here set into the fingerboard are brass frets um, they're pretty nicely finished on the edges but have a look at the photographs on the website the, they, they're corroded um, they're really really gunky I'm not going to get a focus on that trust me I've got some close-up pictures on the website have a look they're horrible. It looks like mould and rust and mess. <laughs> there we are. Uh, plastic nut up to a fairly generic crown headstock with a vintage logo in gold. Cheap open backed tuners with buttons which are far too big for a soprano. Vintage obviously thought that uh, applying two screws to this particular one was overkill. So this whole thing now moves on its uh, on its mounting. Um, mm, terrible quality control. Now, some people say that I am, I am unnecessarily harsh on cheap instruments. Um, I'm not, actually. Have a look at the website. Look at my review of the Macala Dolphin. Look at my review of the Octopus Soprano. Cheap does not necessarily mean that it has to be awful. It can be done. Um, what I dislike is where cheap is used as an excuse for something that isn't going to fulfill the basic needs of a musical instrument and I don't think this does it's pretty bland looking I hate that fingerboard 
Um, the setup, as I say, we've got a really high setup at the nut, uh, a really high setup at the saddle. Both of those are going to need adjusting. If you're a beginner or a child, are you really going to do that? Or are you going to pay to have it done? Mm, suddenly the 20 quid price point isn't so good. Uh, these are black nylon GHS type strings. They're pretty horrible. Um, you'd want to change those out as well. And it also comes with a thin bin liner type gig bag, which is... Well, I've got, uh, I've seen anoraks for children, which are thicker, um, so pointless really. But anyway, how does it sound? Well, it's, first of all, it's thick laminate, so it's overly heavy for what it is. The body is chunky. Um, I'm going to check the tuning before I get going and make sure this is absolutely in tune at the, at the nut, because I just want to show you what that high nut is going to do and the reason I'm tuning it is even though I've had this for about three weeks and been playing it a lot I can't get these strings to settle down they are stretching and stretching and stretching right with a digital tuner we've now got that in tune at the nut listen if I squeeze here can you hear it going higher as I squeeze And that's because the nut is too high, so I am stretching the string in order to get it down to engage the first fret, which means it's going to throw it out of tune at those uh, lower frets, which is kind of where most beginners will be playing most of their stuff. Let's have a listen. It's one dimensional. reason it's sounding out of tune there even though we are in tune at the nut is because of that high nut it's badly set up I actually think the bridge is slightly in the wrong place as well you can't quite tell but I took a, uh, a ruler to it it's slightly off on the uh, on the treble side um, that combined with a high action at the saddle combined with a high action at the nut means that the maths are all wrong Vintage VUK 20N, an example of what is wrong with the cheap end of the ukulele market. Yeah, there are things, this can be adjusted, the nut can be adjusted, the strings can be changed. It's still not going to make it sound great, it's going to improve it though. But if these are aimed at beginners, first time players, are you really wanting to do all of that, say on Christmas morning? Um, this doesn't play out of the box very well. It's it's wrong. Um Add to that the gunky frets, add to that the fingerboard that is going to wear down and gouge and pick up stains and oils from your fingertips. It's horrible. <laughs> um, cheap can be done well. Um, look at Carla, look at McCarla, look at Octopus, don't look at Vintage. This is... This is just horrible. This is a generic Chinese factory instrument that Vintage have put their name on. The quality control is terrible. Uh, you can see the wood shavings there floating, flapping around on the inside of it. That's nice, isn't it? Um, read the written review. Um, but seriously, I'm not just dissing this because it's cheap. I like some cheap instruments. I own some cheap instruments. Um, I would never willingly own one of these. Um, horrible vintage vuk 20n keep an eye on the website for more reviews on godaukulele.com coming very soon and do read the written review of this if you want some more details see you very soon